Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's your boy Frank with another DIY. Today we are working on this BMW F25 X3 with a 20D engine, so stay tuned. So as I mentioned to you guys, we are working today on this BMW X3 F25D which has a check engine light. I just scanned the error on the computer and it's just showing a fault EGR valve. So probably it's, it must be clocked. So what I did, I went ahead and removed the engine cover where you can actually access the air filter. And this is the EGR valve. You might not have seen here, but if you look down there, you will see that we are losing some coolant and being said if you look just down there you will see that it's leaking fluids so what we are, are going to do this time is to replace some of the pipes that go through the back of the EGR I will just show you shortly once I get everything removed so we can start looking out uh, on what we are, we are going to do and as you can see this car was uh, recently serviced by us so if you're just interested in servicing your X3 F25D, contact us. Okay, so now that we have removed uh, the air filter box and all the piping accessories, you can see that now we can see the turbo and you will see down there we have some leaks. So this is the body of our EGR uh, valve, but also look at this, there is a, um, a lot of amount of dirt and oil here, probably the o-ring inside of this valve is not working as it should anymore because you can clearly see that this pipe uh, doesn't belong there and you can see that it has some cracks I will see what we can do about it so now what we need to do next uh, so this is the body of the EGR as you can see right there you have the EGR valve which is this one sitting right here I will go ahead and first remove, remove uh, the valve itself and then we'll be able to undo there are some torque screws over there and uh, those two oh, screws over here that we will need to take out and another one here that we need to take out uh, removed in order to take out the EGR itself the EGR cooler to remove the EGR uh, cooler and as you can see those are the faulty pipes that over time they leak so you can see this is this is one on the top which I think is the one that was leaking the most and then you have this one right here on the bottom so as you can see the EGR valve is just right here and now we just have to remove I mean the valve to clean it up inside and I don't know if you can see right there how dirty it is so we need to clean this thing also up Ooh. so for this oil mess that you're seeing over there I think we'll need to buy some o-rings in order to make sure that it doesn't leak anymore but we will have to clean it up so now what I'm going to do is just to remove those faulty plastic uh, and the, I believe that let me just show you look how the o-rings are looking I will just show you the brand new how they look look at this they are really really worn 
and just take the upper one yeah both of them they were really really bad in leaking coolant as you guys are seeing over there so now i'll just need to clean up a little bit the area to make sure that we are um don't have all this debris that you guys are seeing over there so now let's jump into the cleanest now so this is how it's looking on the filler man i believe you guys can see how dirty this is we'll also need to replace that o-ring and make sure that we have everything aligned so now let's go to the business let's try to uh, remove all the pipes I, I think we'll need to buy some new fittings because those are one time use only once they are clapped in there we will not be able to remove so let's go back to the ground and see what we can do so we just have the mechanism off as you can see we have the plastic cover just removed and what we discovered that is that this mechanism was stuck so what was happening this uh, lever was just sitting on a closed on open position which that's why the car was throwing an error so uh we are evaluating the condition of this dip of this cooler and we can see that actually is not that clogged inside so uh, with this we'll just do a light uh, clean up and we will not uh, remove the assembly as we already free it up we'll just put it back and test into the car so now what we need to actually address is that pipe and also to clean up here the area before we insert it back So as you guys can see, we managed to clean inside there, inside here, and also just removed those two O-rings, the one from here, which is the smaller one, and we have this big one that goes into the housing. So what we are going to do now is to go and fetch those O-rings to make sure that we don't have any leak before we start fitting everything. So good news, I just replaced the, the O-rings, both of them, which is good so now we shouldn't have more oil leaks so now it's time to put everything back together so guys i just wanted to show you how the pipes look looks when they are brand new versus those ones that were already broken as you guys may be seeing that that's why we were losing coolant so now it's time to install it back as you guys are missing over there we just inserted back all the connection pipes so now it's time to put back the EGR so I've just labeled up the mechanism make sure that you lube it very well because needs, it needs to be freely spinning over here as you may be seeing so we just managed to insert everything back I believe that you can see just right over there we have the newer pipes and I believe that you can see that we have our brand new pipes installed right there I believe that you can also see down there is installed so now it's time to put back everything together put some antifreeze clean up everything and just start up the car as you can see we just inserted the pipes everything is looking clean as you may be seeing don't worry we will still wash it with some degreaser but we have everything tightened up um, so now it's just time to put the air filter back and we should be ready to pull some coolant so as I mentioned guys, uh, before we start putting everything back, let's just pour some anti-freeze, uh, breathe the coolant and see what happens. Alright, we just started up the engine. We still need to clear the pot, by the way. Now, 
let's see if we are having any leak. As you may see, no leak so far. Uh, the coolant is just breathing. So it's time to finish up with everything and just go and test out the car. So right now I'm just uh, clearing the coat. So as you can see, this is the coat that we were having stuck closed. And let's go ahead and clean it up. Loop. Erase. Oh, also have been erased as you may be seeing no check in engine light so now let's go ahead and test up the car okay so guys may be seeing over here job done the car is just nice and clean So that's it guys I just delivered the car to the owner and she's very very happy and the job is done the car is not flashing check engine anymore so that's it I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you around cheers I've got